Welcome back. If you didn't get the chance to travel this summer, now is the time to pack your bags, especially because this is the time of year when you can really save big. It's called shoulder season. Had no idea. Senior editor and Travel Zoo from Up Travel Zoo, Gabe Saglier, is joining us now to explain. I love shoulder this season. shoulder yeah, season. Good, yeah. yeah, explain. I guess well, it goes. Between, you know, right? for a lot of us, it goes unperceived because we end the summer season. We're back to school. We're back to reality. We're thinking holidays next. We're right. saving up our our vacation days for the holidays, but really. There's this big lull that occurs during that uh, in-between period, sort of a soft all the way spot. till Christmas, right? Really, right about the middle of December. By December 19th, 20th, we see a, a, a sort of surge in travel as people really get a jump start on their holiday travel. But right between now uh, and mid-December, a, a lot of great opportunity if you've got yeah. the disposable time and a little bit of disposable income as well. And Absolutely. even better, airports are not as crowded not. this and time of year. This is also a time for like fall holidays for schools, or you know, if you don't have kids, you have to worry about that schedule. Yep. This is a time when no one. Else Else is traveling and it's and it's uh, wide open as far as as bargain opportunities concerned you got to pick your right destination uh, and then it's all about uh, you know saving in any in some cases 25 30 percent not only on airfare but on resorts on the ground and as you mentioned things like uh, getting shows to your uh, tickets to your favorite show uh, reservations at your favorite restaurant that much is easier to come by because again the demand is a lot less now that we're in shoulder season you have today Gabe some specific examples of deals that will blow your mind because these hotel packages are so cheap. Let's start off with the Westin Fort Lauderdale, the beach resort this is a great there. So this is Southern Florida, major shoulder season in effect in Southern Florida because by the time we get to the winter season, all these prices will triple, if not more, there in, in Southern Florida. This is right there on the Intercoastal Highway, uh, four-star property, some great Mexican dining here. They have a glass bridge that takes you from the hotel mm. uh, over to the uh, those beautiful sandy beaches. The price point there, uh, $119 a night. You get breakfast. And you know how a lot of these resorts have this resort fee now? Yeah. Yeah, which yes. is ridiculous. It's forty-one dollars here, but with this deal, it's waived. So no resort fee. That comes back in the winter season at resorts here, uh, but now the value quite big there in uh, in Southern Florida. I love that. Okay, let's go to Las Vegas. So can you believe prices as little as like thirty, thirty-one no. dollars a night in Vegas? Yeah. See, the, the thing with Vegas is they want to get you there. So the flights are going to be inexpensive. Your stay will be inexpensive. Then it's all about willpower, because you will be dining really well. You will be, you know, the shows are world class, and you know there's gaming to be done there as well. Uh, but otherwise. Otherwise, the Tropicana, they just uh, are off a $200 million renovation. Uh, this is a Doubletree Hotel, so you get your Starwood points. $31 a night. That is now, crazy. This is all the way through the end of December, because come uh, December 31st, obviously, New Year's Eve, prices will go way, way up. Yeah. Also, conventions begin to roll into Vegas during the, during the fall season. Oh, that's true. So you want to avoid those convention dates, which will triple or quadruple hotel prices. So you've got to be very flexible. And Try to go midweek. I was just going to jump in and say that that $31 per night, that's, that includes an upgrade to a deluxe tower room right. as well so, right so it's not just about price points uh, being slashed during this uh, sort of softer period but the incentives like the upgrades the the breakfast those get tacked on uh, pretty nicely as well I love that okay let's talk about one of my favorite places PV super easy to get to from Houston so Puerto Vallarta and Mexico in general just is a value destination and again this is a, a, a destination that will go up in price come the holidays in the winter season this is the Marriott Puerto Vallarta Resort it's in the Marina Vallarta area so a little uh, just a just a little bit further away from downtown PV, but 89 bucks a night. Unbelievable to stay there. So I mean, the the dollar just goes really. I think you're getting 18 or 19 pesos to the dollar these days. Uh, so the value is strong. Mexico also dealing with just sort of the news of the day that is affecting the way some people travel or decide to travel south of the border. Uh, we're seeing new resorts in Puerto Vallarta, in Cabo San Lucas, so all that extra inventory also bringing prices down. Tough to beat though. 89 bucks a night at a five star waterfront uh, resort. Yeah, you cannot beat. My mouth is on the ground. <laughs> and so. So close to yeah. it is such a quick flight we go to Mexico multiple yeah. times in the year Dominican Republic so this is a great one of my favorite destinations in the Caribbean I, I we spent our 10th the wedding anniversary a couple of years ago in the Dominican Republic there beautiful beaches tourism is the main industry there some great rum and some great coffee there as well the morning after you oh of gone. course <laughs> this is the uh, Casa de Campo resort and villas there in the Dominican Republic uh, it's in La Romana so it's in the northern stretch of, uh, of the Dominican four diamond resorts 7,000 acres uh, they, they've got multiple pools one of the top 100 golf courses in the world on this mm. property 99 
dollars a night. Gorgeous. To stay here. Makes me and want because, to play golf, and I don't even play yeah, golf. Right. Who cares if you don't? Yeah, I don't play golf either. I'll just, I'll just cruise that golf. Just look at it. It's, uh, it's beautiful. They actually include a couple of rounds of golf for free, actually, with that $99 rate. But again, an example of how the Caribbean, and it, mind you, last year we dealt with a, a couple of okay. big blows mm -hmm. uh, in the Caribbean because of, uh, because of Mother Nature. And so this has been the year where, with a lot of these incentives and uh, these price points coming way down, they're trying to incentivize us to hop on a, on a, on a flight and check out those beautiful you know, white sand beaches. Absolutely. We have about 30 seconds left. Let's talk about Costa Rica because so this is Rica, hot. This is, I picked this because for people who want to do a, an anniversary trip or a honeymoon getaway, this is fantastic. This is at the Andaz Peninsula Papagayo in Guanacaste on the Pacific coast of Costa wow. Rica. A four-night stay for $7.95. So the less than $200 a night. You've got multiple infinity pools here. Uh, this is just a gorgeous, sprawling resort in one of the more untouched regions of Costa Rica. But again, the dollar now in the shoulder season goes pretty far there in Central America. Oh, my goodness. Gabe Saglier, thank pick. you what so you, much. Yeah, you so many options, great information, and if you all would like more information on these travel deals, you can always uh, just visit TravelZoo.com. Gabe, good to see you. Great to see you guys. Thanks, Thanks so much.